Hello. In today's video, we're going to take a look at two SL uh, 2300s. Um, one of them does need a tape bath alignment, and the other one uh, is going to need uh, more uh, repairs than that. But what I thought I would do is do a quick video on how to do the tape path alignment without an oscilloscope because most people don't even have an oscilloscope and uh, most people some people may not even know how to use one even if they did have one currently I'm waiting for one coming from China and it can take two to three months before I get it and I didn't know it was coming from China until I already ordered it so what I thought I would do in this video is we would just do a tape path alignment on this SL2300. It will be a quick video and uh, it's not going to take as long as my other videos. And yes, we will do a video later on about how to replace the capstan motor in a Sony Betamax. Because I had a couple YouTubers request that. So, um, to you guys, it will be coming soon. So, hopefully you enjoy this video, and, uh, let's get on with the video. Well, hello guys, this is the Betamax Man. And, we have a couple of Sony SL2300. And, uh, there's two of them here. And uh, what we're going to do is we'll test both of them out. I don't even know if they're going to chew up the tape or I have no idea. So the first one we're going to take a look at is obviously going to be the one at the top. And then we'll take a look at the bottom. So we'll hit the power. And I'm using this for my test tape I actually have two copies no I think I have three copies and this is the bad copy but the other two are good this one's actually good it's just that the tape has been eaten and uh, it's been spliced so that's why that's why it's a test tape now Mm, seems like it might play. Oh wow, we might have a. Let me turn the switch in the back. There's a switch in the back, I think, and that is. I think it's for the PCM switch. There we go. As you can see, we do. There's some some tracking issues, but I think we have an alignment issue on this one. Yeah, we have an alignment issue. L look at the lines in the bottom, and I've got no sound. I have sound, but it's very muffled. I think it's a hair uh, out of alignment. This is uh, Star Trek V. The final frontier. This was actually one of my... One of my favorite Star Trek movies. So, we can hit... If we hit stop, let's just see if it'll eject. Okay, so it looks like this one not only has an alignment issue, 
uh, but it may need to have the capacitors replaced in the uh, um, audio board and let's go ahead and hook this second one up and we'll see what the second one does we'll see what it's like see if it'll play or well, do we just have to decide on what ones do we want to repair first okay so we got that plugged in now we can see what the the audio is louder on this one. Okay. Well, this one seems to be working. But, um, they both have the picture's not not that great um, but that's an old tape we, we do have a some every once in a while I can see the, the servos not locking up it's the, the sync pulses are kicking in or not right So I might, what I might need to do is uh, check the uh, drum servo circuitry. But it seems to be okay. This one actually seems to work. But it does seem to have an issue like every once in a while. You'll see it do that or the and these these models were very known for having uh, capstan issues capstan servo problems but I think the one we're gonna work on is gonna be the top one and because uh, this one uh, I think this bottom one I think the only thing it'll need is just a good service and this one will be back uh, in in operation I think so you know what I could do is uh, change the capacitors on the capstan motor and see if that eliminates the uh, issues with every once in a while it's wanting to uh, get out of sync. So let's just work on the, on the top one. I just so that's what we'll do. We'll work on the top one. I think the top one is a little bit out of alignment. It's extremely warm today, so it's like uh, 90 degrees today. So I might turn my fan on. I may have to have my fan on because it's pretty hot. So I'm um, doing a uh, tape path alignment. Um, is a little bit different than doing it on a VHS machine um, so the audio and control track head is the one that I suspect is out of alignment so by turning the screws that screw there and uh, this screw there and uh, what that will do is uh, adjust the uh, height of the audio and control track head because that's the one that's off I think the reasoning for the very poor muffled audio and I seen those lines at the bottom of the screen and that's telling me that that's that's an alignment issue 
It's not a circuitry problem. I think it's just a mechanical alignment issue. Yeah. Lines in the picture. And I can see that the uh, the paint the uh, paint that they paint on the screws uh, they do that from the factory. They put a dot of paint on there so that um, that's its home position. That way, Sony could know if somebody was messing with it. They could look at that seal and see that it's been broken, and they would say, "Oh, I'm sorry, sir, but." your warranty has been voided because somebody has been into the machine and messed with it and yeah I would be mad too you know but at the same time if you're got a machine that's under warranty and you're and you're not a certified technician and or you don't know what you're doing and you're going in there and you're messing with stuff they have a way to know. The companies know whether or not it's been tampered with just by doing certain things such as putting a dot of paint on the screws um, at the uh, factory and that tells you if they've been uh, turned or not. So we're going to get a... Um, I'm going to take the push on the capstan and make sure that that's not a issue yeah so it's definitely an alignment issue I'm gonna need to get a special tool so by using a small standard I'm able to turn the screws as you can see, um, now the alignment is correct. So what you do, you just turn the uh, two, those two screws, and that will adjust the uh, height. But you gotta be experienced in doing this. You need to know what you're doing before you do this, because if you turn those screws too much, you'll knock it right out of alignment so you just have to be you know careful with that aspect so anyway so that seems to have now well, we seem to uh, we're still just a hair out of alignment we're just we're getting there but we're just a hair out of alignment you'll notice that we don't have any uh, uh, bars in the bottom we just now have them in the center so we're just gonna tweak these ever so gently and, and not drop my freaking screwdriver down in there There we go. There we go, guys. Perfect. Perfectly lined up. And I just barely, just barely turned the screw. Just barely. You don't want to make major turns. You want to do really, really baby, baby steps when you're doing a tape path alignment on a Betamax machine. So this is what adjusts the alignment. As you can see that our tape is now perfectly tracking. So let's just see what our uh, audio is now uh, doing.
it's definitely has some issues with the audio circuitry so I think the next thing that we're gonna have to do to this is get the audio circuitry or we'll take a look at the audio because um, it's up 29 28 and uh, the sound is not very good well I guess it is Yeah, I guess that's okay. Anyway, that that's how you align the heads on the uh, on a Sony Beta. So that is now the thing that I should do, but I don't. I I'm still waiting on the oscilloscope to come in. Um, this oscilloscope was coming from China, and I didn't know that I bought it from China, but anything coming from Japan, China, the UK, any kind of those countries, sometimes can take three to four months before you can get your order. I ordered a set of belts from China one time. And it took me two and a half months to get them. So my oscilloscope could be, it's going to be a while before I, I get it. But the proper, the actual, the way that you should do an alignment is to hook the, um, your probes, uh, you hook it up to the oscilloscope. So these are your your pins that you hook up to and then you can do your adjustments and the oscilloscope you put it on the proper setting and that will um, that shows you what the video signal is doing and then you can turn them until you've got a flat wavelength across the scope. So when it's flat and completely flat, the signal is nice and flat, then you've got the alignment in perfect condition. So, but I'm actually happy with that. Um, I'm happy with the uh, alignment because uh, the picture is, is better. A lot better than it was a few minutes ago. And uh, the alignment is almost bang on. So uh, that is how you do tape path alignment on a Sony Betamax 711B chassis. Now I had a YouTuber wanted to know how you take the capstan motor out of a Sony Betamax and we're going to do this in another video um, we're, we're not going to do it quite yet I do have a I have a Sony SL900 that I want to get going and uh, I'll need to replace the capstan motor in that one and so we'll do a video on that later I promise you that I will I don't remember the youtubers name but I wouldn't reveal it I won't reveal it unless he tells me it's okay because it's a private thing I don't want to be you know responsible for somebody getting his information and using it in the wrong wrong way but I would just say to this person Yes, we will do um, we will do a video on how to replace the capstan motor. Um, but we, we're not going to do it quite yet. It'll be about a week. Um, in about a week I'll, I'll do it, you know. But I'm pretty happy with that picture now. picture is very, very good, so... And that is going to be the uh, 
second on the on the video. So I guess I'll I'll sign off and uh, say uh, I'll I'll see you later and uh, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And just before we go, real quickly, this this screw you adjust, and then you adjust the screw over here. By adjusting those screws, it's um, basically you're going up and down. Not only are you going up and down, but you're going up and down on either side. If you're on this side, it's going up and down. If you're on this side, it'll go up and down. So that's how you do a tape path alignment. And how do you know that the, the heads were out of alignment? Well, as we've seen on the video where we've seen that line go across the bottom of the screen. Because that line is not supposed to be there. That That's what told me that this one just needed a tape path alignment. And that, and that was really all this thing needed. Uh, we will do a service on this later on if I have time to do one. But servicing these things are, are pretty simple. They're not too hard. Uh, they do involve taking the real table motor assembly apart. So that you can clean and re-lubricate. Um, and then also you want to uh, re-lubricate the gears in the cassette housing. Um, but anyway, there we go guys. So, I'll uh, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.